Welcome to today's coverage of the Stop the Steal March for Trump rallies happening across the country today. I'm your host, Paul Graney, and we have reporters on the ground across different cities. I think it's uh, fraud. There's a lot of fraud. That's what I heard. And then I heard that there's a uh, million, million uh, fraud it's happening in Pennsylvania as well. And I'd like to, the truth to come out, and I'd like to, uh, the election to be fair. I see. And what are your concerns whether Trump or Biden win the election? Deeply concerned. I would prefer Trump to uh, to stay in the office. I came from a communist country. I escaped from Vietnam to be here to have my freedom to practice my faith and also to be fully human. And uh, if communists take over our country, where would I go? I'm here because I'm very upset with our country, but I'm very happy to see a lot of people questioning it. So I believe we have Ben Hedges on the ground for NTD in D.C. Ben, can you hear us? We are now marching towards the Supreme Court. You can actually see the U.S. Capitol right here ahead of us. And there's going to be a further rally at the Supreme Court. And the organizers of this said the reason they are marching from Freedom Square to the Supreme Court is because they believe that this election will ultimately be decided in the Supreme Court. So why do you support President Trump today? Well, um, you know, it's funny. I have this here because I teach at a college in Philadelphia, and the Marxist language in the curriculum is so disgusting to me. It's so prejudicial. It's so presumptive. That I actually have this. It's okay. I actually have this here because I partially my identity because it gets on Facebook. So, but anyway, I Trump. I, I support him because he's courageous. He calls a spade a spade. And the, the uh, again, the, the leftist culture that's getting into the, uh, the academy is just disgusting, and that's why I have this. I've never really watched so much a Trump fan. I'm a fan of stopping the corruption, of stopping the, the elite running our, our country, of selling us off. You know, we, can talk, we can sit here and talk about what that's Trump's what accomplished says. over the last four years, but what this election about is about the fraud, is about the, the Democrats, about the lefts taking this election from the people. That's what this is about. Why I do support because he's pro-life, he's pro-family, and we are Christians, so we are in favor of everything. It's in the will of God. So Biden is against everything God's will. We support the president. Um, we want to see a fair election. We want to make sure all legal votes count and all illegal votes are removed. People are coming from all 50 states to attend today's march in the Capitol. The founder of the march told us that he's even been contacted by someone all the way over in Hawaii. Organizers are expecting a turnout of over 100,000 people. They're all coming to support President Trump through the lawsuits and allegations of the voter fraud. Yesterday, President Trump said in a tweet that he might pop by today's march and say hello. And he said it was heartwarming to see all of the support coming from around the country. And this morning, as we just saw in that short clip, he made good in his word and paid an early bird for supporters a visit. And I believe we have some updates from the march in Georgia at the moment where NTD's Melina Wise Cup is there. Is super high here at the Georgia State Capitol in Atlanta. These supporters out here are really enthusiastic. So every time a car passes by that has any stop the steal or Trump supporting slogans, this crowd is just chanting along with them. As you can see, they're lined up and down the sidewalks here. And this, this crowd just grew really, really fast. The organizer told us that they, she's expecting a couple of hundred people to show up. So this is just a fraction of what's expected today. Um, just a little background on what's going on in Georgia. The state's in the middle of a recount right now. So they're by hand recounting every single ballot. But some of these people tell us they're a little concerned about that process because there's been a social media video that's been circulating showing that some of the poll watchers have been pushed back so far from the ballot counting process. There's no way they can actually verify that those ballots being counted are in fact legal. The organizer uh, told us that that's actually what she's most concerned about because she says if there's no audit process, the recount is is essentially useless or if we're going to recount the votes then it needs to be done in such a way that when it's over 
we all have confidence. And and I, I think, I won't speak for everyone, but for myself, if, if that's done in a way that I feel confident that the result is a true reflection of how America voted, and someone and, and Biden does become the victor, then I'm willing to accept that. I'm not out here, it, 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 it's about the process. I'm standing up for the process. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not just that we're out here voicing our opinions for us, we're out here voicing our opinions for all Americans because Americans deserve a free and fair election. So I brought this flag today because this is the flag uh, that goes on our son's grave, uh, Zane McDonald. Uh, he fought in the Army in Iraq for a year in the Army. And so I'm here today, not just, excuse me, not just to, uh, you know, hope that there's a resolution to the, the voting issue and that we get the right person in the White House, but for the veterans who fought, died, bled, gave their lives long before my son did for the ability and the right and the privilege to vote because it is a privilege. And if it's being, if it's being abused or uh, uh, t done illegally, uh, the integrity of that vote loses its importance. And to me, that means my son's life didn't matter. And the other millions of people who fought for that right to vote, that their lives must not matter either. And out here, there has been some tension going on. Uh, there was a man back behind me in this area that was trying to attack some of the Trump supporters here. But we have policemen out here that quickly, quickly quelled that situation. So, um, but that that small bit of tension that's coming, that's nothing. That there, that is not stopping these attendees out here. They are super determined to come out and show the country that they will not stand for any election fraud. So that's what's going on here in Atlanta. Back to you, New York. And so I believe we have the Epoch Times' Roman Balmakov. Uh, looking forward to hearing what he's doing. He's probably speaking with the attendees. Roman, can you hear me? I think they're stepping out of line. It's not their decision, it's our decision. And the courts are the ones who decide when they count the votes and they certify it. Look at this, look at this dog, Trump supporting dog. <laughs> we were out there in Arizona watching the vote in Maricopa County and saw that go down in very mysterious and weird ways. Look, I just want to, this isn't over. It's not even close to being over. And those people that are telling you right now that it is over are lying to you. The vote has not been declared, but they, no, there is no president-elect. My mission is to uh, let the, uh, the country and especially the Supreme Court and those involved in court decisions know that we have uh, not given up on the fact that there's irregularities in voting and they're being exposed. Well, we have no control of our own destiny anymore, and so if there's big corruption by Biden and all the media, when I say all, I mean literally all, ABC, NBC, CBS. I love your channel. I watch you guys on YouTube. You guys have real news. Thank you for being here. The Epic Times. The Epic Times. Oh, I love this guy. We see you on YouTube all the time. We got fans. We got fans. The Epic Times. I love this guy. Thanks, Roman. So as Roman mentioned, there's still the election very unclear, still recounts and legal challenges in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, Arizona, and Michigan. President Trump remains confident he'll win the election once all legal votes are counted and any illegal votes cast have been discarded. And the attendees at today's rallies appear to believe the same thing. People are coming from all 50 states to attend today's march in the Capitol. The founder of the march told us that he's even been contacted by someone all the way over in Hawaii. Organizers are expecting a turnout of over 100,000 people. They're all coming to support President Trump through the lawsuits and allegations of the voter fraud. And they're calling for transparency and election integrity. The Stop the Steal, it's a grassroots movement, was first started after the election results came out last weekend. There was rallies in every state across the United States then and today. They're all coming together to make their voices heard on the doorstep of the Supreme Court. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all soon.